Hello friends, like I was saying that Kengen water has some special properties. So I am going to demonstrate the three properties to you. The first is it is an antioxidant water, second is alkaline water and third is microclustered. So I have couple of waters over here with me and the first one over here is the tap water, second is a famous uh, bottled water Bailey's, third is a famous uh, soda drink Sprite okay? and the fourth one over here is the Kangen water. And I have also got this meter with me is called a ORP meter. Now this ORP meter when it shows a negative reading that means the water is antioxidant and when it shows a positive reading that means the water is oxidizing. So let us check all these three waters and see whether they have antioxidant property that means they are good for us or they are oxidizing and that means they are bad for us. So I am going to pour this water into these three glasses and uh, the bottles are behind the glasses so that we know which water is what. So this is the second water, the bottled water. The third one is a famous soda drink is Sprite and I have got a Sprite over here. This is a colorless drink and you will know in a short while why I have got a Sprite over here not Coke or something else. Okay. And the last one which I have is the Kangen water in this uh, bottle over here which I had drawn this morning from my Kangen machine. I have a SD501 and this water was drawn from there this morning that means maybe about a couple of hours back. So I have got these four waters and let us try and check now let us check which of these waters are antioxidant in nature and which of these waters are oxidizing in nature. So I have got this probe which connects to the meter which I have over here and I am going to dip this probe into each of these waters to check whether the water is oxidizing or it is antioxidant. So let us start with the tap water. Now the tap water what is showing is about 270, 280 positive reading that means this water is oxidizing. Anyway tap water is not never considered to be very good so let us forget about that. The next one which I have over here okay, is the bottled water which is which you are paying money for so I expect it to be good so let us check. Right Now this water is showing a reading of about 250 that means this water is also not very good. right? Let us check soda. Now this is the water which is the most expensive on the table and I expect it to be very very good. Let us do that. Okay, So this water is showing a reading of about 350 positive. So obviously this water is also not very good. Last but not the least I have in front of me Kangen water like I said I had drawn it from my machine in the morning and let us check what kind of a reading this gives. This is giving a negative reading, negative 260, 270, right? So this water apparently is the best water for us because it is antioxidant. So any antioxidant thing is good for us. So this was the first test. The second test which I want to show you is about whether these waters are acidic or alkaline in nature. And for that, I have got a I have got a solution over here, it is a chemical which is used for measuring pH of any liquid and uh, you might have used litmus paper in your chemistry tests. Okay, This is something similar to that only thing this is in the liquid form. So I am going to pour a few drops of this into each of these waters and check whether the waters are acidic or alkaline. Now uh, behind me over here there will be a chart okay, which will show you which color is indicator of alkaline water and which is an indicator of acidic water okay, and how much acidity is there is also indicated by the color chart. Now the first water that is the corporation water this is kind of a greenish blue so it is slightly acidic or towards neutral. Now neutral whether it is good or bad that we will explain separately. So this is neutral. Now the next one is bottled water. It is yellowish green that means it is slightly acidic. 
okay that uh, on the chart probably about uh, between 4.5 to 5.5 to maybe 6.5 ph let's say 5.5 to 6.5 ph the next one is soda this is almost red this water would be of the tune to of uh, 2.5 ph so obviously this is very acidic very very bad for us and the last one which i have over here this is purple and purple is indicator of alkaline water this is about 9.5 ph so i'm just going to remove these uh, uh, bottles from behind these waters so that you can see the color better okay let me just remove these so you can see this is greenish okay greenish blue that means it's neutral this is yellowish blue which means this is slightly acidic maybe between 5.5 and 6.5 ph somewhere this is almost red that means this is very harmful this is about 2.5 ph and uh, this is the kangen water which is 9.5 ph so obviously it's clear okay gagan water is not only antioxidant it is also alkaline in nature or is alkalized now why do we call it alkalized because we make this water by removing all the harmful and acidic components from your water you can also make it in a different way you can add lot of alkaline substance into your water like for example alum or uh, limestone and that will also make water alkaline so apparently the water will look alkaline but it may not be good for you because the harmful components the harmful ingredients of that water the acidic ingredients of that water were always present and they were never removed so this water is actually different from whatever you might be able to get in terms of a bottled alkaline water and things like that secondly that bottled alkaline water will never be an antioxidant so even if you purchase alkaline water in a bottle form okay it is not going to give you that property which uh, kangen water will give you now i'm going to conduct one more test and uh, for this i'm going to use something called cooking oil now what i'm going to do is in these two glasses over here i'm going to pour a little bit of uh, cooking oil and i'm going to rinse these with one with the normal tap water and second with kangen water and we will see if there is a difference between the two so i'm going to put a little bit of oil and this is called pil dil pro uh, cooking oil this i uh, picked up from my wife's kitchen okay you can also get this oil and do, do this test at home if you have a kangen water machine now the water i am going to use for this purpose one is the tap water which we were using earlier and second is kangen water now this kangen water is slightly different it is 11.5 ph kangen water it's just like regular kangen water only thing is is more alkaline now why i'm using 11.5 ph because this is the most micro clustered water the kangen machine gives so you'll be able to see the effect very quickly so let me in this glass pour some of the tap water and see what happens now if you can see this nothing has happened the oil is just floating on top of the water because the water is too thick to do anything to this oil but whereas when it comes to kangen water the results may be slightly different watch this now do you see this is become oily why it become uh, is become uh, milky the reason is become milky is because kangen water has cut through the oil the kangen water is so thin is so micro clustered that it can cut even through the oil and uh, there's a technical term for this this is called emulsification so this water can even emulsify oil that goes to show how thin this water is and thinner the water the better it is for your body and with that i come to end of this presentation i hope i have been able to explain to you and demonstrate to you the difference between the water which you are consuming today and the kangen water machine the water it gives to you whether it is 11.5 ph or the uh, 9.5 ph and how that water is going to be good for you